Hi Stampers! Today we're going to make the paper bag scrapbook. It's really cute. This is one I made a long time ago when we went to Tennessee. And you just add pictures and then you can add little pullouts. There's one. There's Jessie when she was little. And then this one is a little extra little thing. I added some more pictures so then it pulls out. This measures 10 by three and three quarter and then you're just going to score every two and a half inches and then I just attach some ribbon on the back side and then when I put it in the book I just tie it shut so that's cute okay so let's get started oh let me show you this one this one is um, from a dear friend Susan Cooper hi Susan she sent me this one a long time ago and I put my knee pictures in there I know it's gross but this is all about my knee surgery when I had my knee replacement. So, and then she, add, and then I also added some little things in my pockets. These, this is my x-ray of my knee with my new knee replacement. So I just slid that, slid that inside the little pocket. And then there's a little pull out here. There's the x-ray too. So, but yep, this is all about my knee. All right, so let's get started. These are really easy to make. I'm just going to kind of give you an oversight on how to do it. Now, you can get all kinds of different colored lunch bags. I have white ones, and then you have the natural color, you know, like the craft or something. But you can also buy colored ones at the dollar store. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold your bags in half. And I'm using three. You can use however many you want. Okay, then you're going to start stacking them. So I'm going to kind of variegate it. So I'm going to have this one with the end, the little flap here at this end. Then I'm going to turn it and put this end here. So the idea is that each page will have like a little pocket. Okay, so you're just going to stack those up. And then you're going to fold it in half. And then I'm going to use my crop -a dial now my crop dial my stem part is set at A, and then the flat part is set at 1. And then I'm also going to be using the side where you're punching the 3 16th hole. And I have that set at, I think it's a quarter of an inch. And it's basically 4 marks over. Because you can adjust that. And I want that to be the same size across my side of my border of my book. So then you're just going to hold your bag shut. And then slide that in and it will automatically stop where you want it and then just punch out your hole and I'm just going to do one to show you and all those little things get stuck in the crop -a dial okay so then now now on Susan's book and also on this book I went ahead and used ribbon and so did she on hers, on her binder there. But I'm going to use the jumbo eyelets and I'm going to show you how I did that today. I'm going to actually punch another, let me get this out of here, I'm going to punch a little bit bigger of a hole where I punched already. I'm just going to line that up against that previous hole and then I'm just going to move it over a little bit and make it a little bit bigger so my jumbo eyelet fits in there. So then I'm just going to slide my jumbo eyelet inside my hole like that and then I'm going to take the stem part and put that in the front of my jumbo eyelet and then I'm going to squeeze that crop -a dial. And then I'm going to take another jumbo eyelet. I'm going to put it on the other side. And they will fit. You just have to kind of wiggle it in there. And then take the stem part of my crop -a dial And then just squeeze that. So you have the jumbo eyelets on both sides. Isn't that cute? Okay, so then when you're decorating your scrapbook here, you're just going to crease that over 
Now what I found also is that each page me measures a little bit different in size. So you might want to go ahead and measure with the tape measure. And then you would also measure your pockets depending on how much you want to stick out. That's about four and three quarter maybe by five. Okay, so then now here's one that I started making and I'm using the Simply Scrapping Kit Love Sparkles. Love that title. And everything's in here that I'm going to use to finish my book. I got designer paper, I have some die cuts and some cardstock and it all coordinates to cute together. So, but here's my one that I started on right now. It's not quite finished, but you'll get the idea. So, when you open your book, you're going to have, you know, pages to put your photos. And then on the inside also is a little pullout. There's, there's a page and there's a page. Okay. So, that's it. Here's the other ones. Let me show you those real quick again. This one's from Susan, and then this one is the one that I made a few years ago. All right, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.